What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and we're over in Red Elite Clan and we're going to be showing you guys some Town Hall 11 triples versus some other Town Hall 11s. Some really cool war stuff here that I haven't really seen a ton of on this on the channel. So I wanted to hop over, get some nice replays for you. Red Elite was nice enough to invite me over, show off some of their nice war stuff. They're on a 9 war win streak. But we're going to be showing off some of these nice Town Hall 11 3 star attacks and some really cool stuff that I haven't seen a ton of and obviously I haven't shown you guys a ton of because we just haven't done it because we don't have a ton of 11s in our clan. Let's go ahead and get into the raids now that we kind of got the business out of the way here. Let's go ahead and get into the first raid here, guys. Okay, guys, we got the first replay pulled up here. And while I have your attention, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure you drop a like on the video. We need more likes on our videos. It's just ridiculous how low our likes are. So hopefully we can get our likes up today. We got Dan going in on this base here. We kind of zoomed out so you guys can look over the base. He's going to be using a pencil loon. So he's going to have five hounds in total, four and then one in the CC. He's got 20, 20, 22 loons, rather, five wall breakers heroes obviously one rage one freeze poison spell six haste to get these loons around the base and two skeletons the skeletons are really cool uh you kind of gotta watch it it kind of happens really fast it's gonna happen when we get over here the skeletons are gonna be dropped on the queen and take out the queen so the raid's gonna start over here he's gonna come in he's gonna bring his heroes in to work on this air defense work work on these archer towers and just work on some of these structures over here get one of the air defenses out so he can kind of work through this base clockwise so we see the king coming in, working into this compartment that he blew open with the wall breakers, brought five wall breakers to get in there. King's going to work towards that air defense. Queen's just obviously going to work right behind the king as he's tanking. Wizard tower going down, archer tower's going down, and just getting a lot, lot of good use out of his heroes here. I think he accomplished exactly what he wanted to do as far as taking out those buildings, those structures there. So in comes the first loon, or the first hound with some loons in behind. Second hound in with loons in behind. Just really nice pace, placement on his loons. I really like seeing that. Uh, Hasten his loons in through the base. We see the warden going down to help give those loons a little bit more health, a little bit more hit points, and use his ability a little bit later on. And comes another hound soaking up those seeking air mines. Loons in behind. Right there, if you saw it really carefully, the skeletons are coming up on the queen. He dropped the two skeleton spells to you know scout that enemy queen. And just working through the base really nicely here. Those haste, six haste spells, rage, freeze, and just getting through the base. Uh, I think the uh, skeletons actually end up missing the queen there, but she's going to go down from the pups, almost like a queen pop there. In comes that last hound and some more air, uh, some more loons over here on this far side and just work it through really nicely. I really enjoyed watching this strategy. I haven't really seen too many pentala loons. I'm more used to seeing a lot of quadla loons, but Dan gets through this base so nicely. Finishes pretty much on the eagle artillery, but just finishes really strong. Look at how many pups he, he's got throughout the base. Just working and cleaning up the base. Eagle Artillery is going to go down. Town Hall is going to go down. And it's just going to be a cleanup for a very nice three-star. A super nice Town Hall 11 triple. Definitely wanted to show this one off to you guys. As he's got all those pups. An unpopped hound. Tons of loons for the easy, nice, nice, solid three-star. Very good attack there from Dan. So let's go ahead and move on to the next attack, guys. All right, next up we have Noah. And this is more of a 10.5, but it's in the same war. So I wanted to show it off for, for you guys here. He's going to be using a Go Bowie. A very solid attack. He's got four wizards, eight wall breakers. He's going to queen walk at the beginning of this. Four healers, baby dragon, five minions, three witches, 16 bowlers. And he's got that golem in his clan castle. Three rages, two jumps, poison, and a rage. And I, again, this is against a 10.5, but I felt like it was really worthy of this video. A really solid attack. Uh, I liked seeing this strategy. He has a couple of these, but I want to show this one off for you guys. Here we see queen going in with the queen walk here, working up through the space here. Warden's going to go in to kind of buff up her uh, hit points, obviously. So we see he's just going to walk his queen up this right side here, uh, getting all these buildings out, getting everything kind of taken out. We're going to speed up the queen walk portion a little bit, trying to funnel the queen back in. Drops in that first rage to keep her alive. The queen turns back around. He wants the queen going up this side here, which works out pretty well for him. He gets that expo down. Let's slow that down right there. We see the clan castle coming out, poison going down. Witch and Baby Dragon come out of Clan Castle. Queen's just going to go ahead and be able to take care of all this really well. Getting tons of value out of this minion over here, just working on cleaning up that side. We see the healers just continuing to heal up the queen. Uh, but Airmine hits the queen there. In comes the golem and the giant out of the Clan Castle. Wizard's going to go in to help funnel right there. Queen just walking through the base, still doing her job, doing really well. Going to wall break her into this compartment here. And then the, wall, the bowlers, witches, everything's just going to go in right here as we see bowlers coming in which is going in behind and they're just all going to funnel in here king in as well and just overwhelm this base you'll see it a very nice jump there covering all those compartments 
and just the bowlers are going to go nuts on this base. Look at it. Bowlers going crazy, raged up, running through the base, running through this core here, and just destroying stuff. The first X or the first Inferno rather goes down. Just absolute beast attack right there. We see the Warden's ability was used there. A giant bomb goes off on the bowlers, but no big deal. They are just blowing stuff up, throwing those rocks and just killing everything. Another giant bomb, no huge deal there as he's mostly through the base. Just a few, uh, few, you know, single, single targeting structures there, uh, archer towers, cannons, and then that one wizard tower over there and the bomb tower up top. I didn't see the bomb tower up top. So very nice attack, getting through this base in a hurry. Still has one rage left. Hero's just going to do work. Again, it was a 10.5, but man, this was a really solid attack. I really enjoyed seeing this one. A very, very cool strategy. I've, I've heard about this strategy being used a lot by the higher town halls, but I haven't really seen it a ton. So this was really cool to see a very nice three star here as he finishes up and gets the three star. Uh, Queen's going to go ahead and just take out the rest of these buildings for the easy money three star. Very nice attack, Noah. Good stuff there easy three star for him all right guys next up we're gonna hop over to one of our clans we're gonna hop over to ihawks our feeder clan max t-rex is over there helping out but he had this nice three star against this town hall 11 base not quite a max base but a really really nice town hall 11 base uh, as far as rex hitting it he's gonna drop in he's going with the quad loon he's gonna drop in his first loon to take out that air archer tower right there he's gonna bring in all four of his hounds and real real just kind of just go in guys go get it in come all four of the hounds loons in behind He's also got a clone spell here, which you guys will see used shortly in the raid. In goes the Warden. Just kind of has everything into the base. Funnel them in from the corners with that haste spell right there. First Hound pops, no big deal. Out comes the Warden's ability, you know, keeping those loons alive, keeping everything alive so they don't die. You'll see that clone spell coming in right over here near the Eagle Artillery. Here comes that first clone spell in. Clone balloons coming into the base. Very cool to see. We see everything working left here. A few loons went right, but not going to survive for too, too long over there. But very, very cool use of that clone spell. We see the baby dragon coming in, kind of distracting that archer tower. Couple unpopped hounds here, but they are eventually going to pop and help with the cleanup. As we see, we got two unpopped hounds. That baby dragon just working. Tons of loons. Quite a few defenses left, but that's going to help pop these loons, or these hounds rather, and get some of the cleanup done on this base. Works out really well for him. We see this first hound getting ready to pop right over here. That baby dragon's helping clean up. First hound pops there. The second hound's still working. He's going to bring in his heroes to work on cleaning up, work on some of these structures as well. And it's just going to work out really well for him. He's going to finish really well on this base. We see there's that unpopped hound still alive. No big deal there. We see the enemy queen just targeting his balloons, taking them down. No, not good there, but... He's going to be in a good situation here. He's got pups all over the base. He's got his baby dragon down here still working. In comes his queen, and we just see the balloon working. That enemy queen's going to target that balloon, take it out. Enemy queen's still standing, but he eventually gets her, as you see here. But just tons of tons of pups cleaning up. A very cool use of the clone spell. Uh, I, I see a lot of talk about the clone Laloon attacks, and they apparently are going really, really well for people and, and raids and stuff. So a very cool, cool thing to see here. We see the, the loons coming out of the clan castle. Queen's going to go ahead and snipe them down. And it's just going to be an easy cleanup from there after those loons fall. Easy cleanup for the three star for Rex here. Over an I Hawks, our feeder clan. Very good attack, Rex. Really liked it there. Next up, we're back in Mad Ram, our main clan, with Lewis attacking this Town Hall 11 right here. He's going to be using a small kill squad up on this top right side up here. We'll see here shortly, but he's going to be using two clone spells. The first time he's ever really used this, and you'll kind of see that in what he clones, but it's still a really solid attack. He's got single infernos on the base, so that's obviously going to help him out. But he's going to come in with this kill squad of giants up here with the heroes, and he's going to get so much value out of this. You guys got to see how much value he gets out of this. Wall breaks in, gets the heroes in. Giant's going to obviously help tank for that queen, tank for the king. Out comes the clan castle dragon, which obviously you got to take out, take care of. Out comes clan castle minions. No big deal there. Uh, we see that the, that first archer tower goes down. Minions going down from the poison. Dragon's going to get shot down by his queen. Just works out so well there. The enemy queen does not get taken down, but he does get an expo here. And check this out. He's going to get both of these air defenses. King's just kind of working up there. He's going to get both of these air defenses and that sweeper by his queen. Holy crap. Talk about value. That was intense value. The enemy queen's going to target his queen and take her out. But he, like, cleared out this whole side with, like, five giants and his heroes. That was craziness. I loved seeing that. So he's going to come in. He's got two hounds. He's got a hound and a hound and a CC. 28 loons, 18 minions. 
two haste, rage, and his clone spells. So in come the hounds, in come the loons. Obviously the warden's gonna go down behind to help buff everything up there, but this is a really, really good attack. Obviously that kill squad was so amazing, guys. I could not believe that kill squad. Everything working through that base. That Simo Inferno's kind of a little bit of a pain on the hounds. He clones, drops his first clone, his second clone, and clones up hounds, unfortunately. Didn't get the loons by themselves, so he ends up cloning up some hounds. Uh, kind of funny to see, like I said, I think this was his first time really using this in war, but still, it's a really solid attack. He had a really good plan, works through the base really nicely, even with the cloned hounds, and just gets gets through this base really solidly. The enemy queen is, or yeah, enemy queen is down right there and just doing a really good job. Those minions just run into the, look at these minions. The minions are just doing work on the base, guys. Holy crap. Minions and pups just working through the base. We see the last few loons here, and he's just going to easily clean this up for the three star. A very good attack by Lewis. I enjoyed seeing this a ton in my own clan. It was really cool to see this live. He did a good job on that attack. Very nice attack. To Lewis. finish up, we're going to hop back over to Red Elite. MC Yak is going in on this 10.5. So, again, no eagle, but still a really high level base. He's going to go with a Queen Walk Laloon. Uh, as we see here, he's going to start walking his queen up top. He walks his queen for like a month and a half, but gets so much value out of this queen. Like, he walks it. I'm like, holy crap, when's the raid starting? But this was attack. This attack was so good to see. He had a really good plan and just executes it really well with this queen. So we're gonna kind of speed up the queen walk here because it's gonna take a little bit. It takes a little bit to queen walk, but it's all good here. He's gonna queen walk these air defenses out. These two air defenses right here come in with this little portion. We see the enemy or his friendly king rather going in. Wall breaks the queen in. Go ahead and throw down the warden to help the warden. You know, tank for the, help the queen tank a little bit tougher. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slow this back down. So he gets that first air defense down, drops in the rage. Here comes the hound. We definitely want to rage. He's just going to work on the hound, get the hound clean. Uh, he sees a Tesla in the corner, drops a loon on the Tesla. Queen is going to go ahead and take out all these pups from the hound. The, so he got, he has the, he's going to get two air defenses down eventually. He gets the clan castle down as we see there. He's going to rage up, hit the queen's ability, keeps her alive so so clutch keeping her alive gets that air defense and gets the enemy queen here as you see so so much value out of this walk he gets the enemy queen two air defenses clan castle just so much in comes the first hound with some loons and behind as we see here and just working through the base really nicely man this was such a nice attack in comes that third hound just on this last air defense over here just getting through the base hasting through with his his loons here I could not believe the value out of the queen. The queen is still alive, still walking, still taking out buildings, just doing work. Two haste, freeze remaining here as we see. Hasten through, getting to these defenses. Freezes that last inferno there. Loon's gonna come over, drop on it, take it out with the queen. Just so much value out of this queen. How is this queen still alive? What the heck? So much value out of that queen, just working her through the base, keeping her alive. His her ability at such a clutch time. Loon's gonna finish off these last defenses in here. Minions coming in for cleanup. Lots of easy cleanup troops left. And just finishes this base off so nicely here, guys. A very cool attack to see here. A very efficient queen walk. So effective on the queen walk. Like, you gotta get value out of your queen walk. That's what my clan mates were just telling me because I'm trying to learn how to queen walk better. I think that's the definition of value right there out of that queen walk. So a very nice attack there, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Some Town Hall 11 three-star attacks. Oh my goodness, they're so cool to see those. Hopefully we can get some more content like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video all around. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Red Elite, Show, showing the love, letting me come over and get these replays. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.